It's a mildly hot day, around 82 degrees inside the house. Now we're going to check on it inside the freezer. You can see the um, veins are going in this way. That's actually counterclockwise because the white sides are moving to the right. It's all going to the right. And then if you notice, I'll put the ice on it. The ice makes it go to the um, This is making it go the other way. I'm going to take the ice off of it. Maybe it was my hand on it. My, okay, so this ice is this ice is warmer than the freezer temperature. So now to see how it's going clockwise. I don't want to waste all the energy of this freezer in here. My landlord's gonna get mad but I'm just trying to show this for science real quick. So my hand's on it, door's open, it's going clockwise now. I'm gonna close it again. The temperature outside has no value to us yet, <laughs> but uh, we'll have value when we go outside because we're gonna um, take a look at some mirrors too. We're gonna do the full, full thing, uh, one take for your viewing pleasure. Just for fun, just I, I, I can never get enough of this radiometer. The most fun, uh, was it, $20, $30 toy after shipping I ever got. Rubik's Cube, that's cool. Um, slinky, great fun. Radiometer, still having fun with it. I'm almost 34 years old. So, let's open it up, let's see what's happening. And look, now it's going counterclockwise again, okay? So in this scenario, the ice is warmer than the actual freezer ambient temperature. And that's probably because I took the ice outside. Let's bring this to. I hope the neighborhood cats show up. They'd make great guest stars on this show. look outside. So it's not moving very fast right now. It's just kind of um, doing its thing and the temperature a little bit higher out here. Looks like it's uh, almost 80, 84. Oh, it looks like it's even going up a little bit. Almost 85 degrees. And look, it's spinning on its own. Now, as you can see, there's like this grating. It's not very bright over here. It's hot, but it's not very bright. But it's going quite fast. All right, next step. You probably can't even tell which direction it's spinning. It's going so fast, but to me, it's going clockwise. Now, let's go on a just one mirror like my other video. Temperature over here by the mirror is uh, 80. Oh, I'll over here by the mirror in the direct sunlight, it's almost 89 Fahrenheit, and it looks like it's it's a, yeah, just like last time, it's just going slower, but it's it's going slower on camera. It's just going so fast the camera can't even pick it up all the frames. So looks like it's little different now I made this thing this is a little mirror box I made just for this video for your fun Let's see how hot how hot is it in the mirror box according to this this mirror box it's a little higher temperature actually it looks like in this box of mirrors it's about 93 degrees Fahrenheit so, I'll take this out. Let's see what happens to the 
radiometer when I put it in here. I think my sh it's growing pretty darn fast. There's more wobble actually. It's probably getting going so fast that it's uh that house of radiometers radiometer experience dot com so cool now we know that the more mirrors or the more light the faster it goes also temperature is a factor too that's it you need to learn more, you know, cover the secrets and have fun with it.